Father, when I am afraid, I will put my confidence in you. You have not given me a spirit of timidity, but of power and of love and a right minded. Therefore, I am not ashamed of the testimony of my Lord. I have not received a spirit of slavery leading to fear again, but I have received a spirit of adoption as a son by which I cry, Abba, Father. Jesus, you delivered me, who through fear of death had been living all my life as a slave to constant dread. I received the gift you left to me, peace of mind and of heart. And the peace you give isn't fragile like the peace the world gives. I cast away troubled thought, and I choose not to be afraid. I believe in God. I also believe in you. Lord, you are my light and my salvation. You protect me from danger. In whom shall I fear? When evil men come to destroy me, they will stumble and fall. Yes, though a mighty army marches against me, my heart shall know no fear. I am confident that you will save me. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit, for bringing these things to my remembrance. When I am tempted to be afraid, I will trust in my God. Dear Father, in Jesus' name, I confess and believe that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, and any tongue that rises against me in judgment, I shall show to be in the wrong. I believe I dwell in the secret place of the Most High. I shall remain stable and fixed under the shadow of the Almighty God, whose power no foe can withstand. This secret place hides me from the strife of tongues. I believe the wisdom of God's word dwells in me, and because it does, I realize that I am without fear or dread of evil. In all my ways, I know and acknowledge God and his words. Thus, he directs and makes straight and plain my pathway. As I attend to God's word, it is held to my nerves and marrows and moistening my bones. I am strengthened and reinforced with mighty power in my inner self by the Holy Spirit himself who dwells in me. God is my strength and my refuge and I confidently trust in him and his word. I am empowered through my union with the Almighty God. This gives me superhuman, supernatural strength to walk in divine health and to live in abundance. God himself has said, I will never leave you without support or forsake you or let you down, my child. I will not. I will not. I will not in any decree leave you helpless or relax my hold on you. Assuredly not, according to your word in Hebrews 13 verse 5. I take comfort and I am encouraged and confidently boldly say, The Lord is my helper. I will not be seized by a lamb. I will not fear or be terrified for what can man do to me. I confess and believe that my children are disciples, thoughts of the Lord, and obedient to God's will. Great is the peace and undisturbed composure of my children because God himself 
contends with that which contends with me and my children, and he gives them safety and ease themselves. God will protect and perfect that which concerns me. This word of God that I have spoken is a life and full of power. It is active and operative. It energizes me. It affects me. As I speak God's word, it is sharper than any two-edged sword. It is penetrating my joints and into the marrows of my bones. It is healing to my flesh. It is prosperity for me. It is the magnificent word of Almighty God. According to the word that I have spoken, so be it. Hallelujah. Amen. Dear Lord, I praise you because you are the God of the universe. You created everything we see and everything we don't. I praise you because you are God and I am not. You have all the wisdom and knowledge. No one can teach you or counsel you because you know better. Thank you for being close to me. Thank you for being patient with me and kind to me. Thank you for your son Jesus dying on the cross for my sins. Dear God, I confess to you that I have a prideful attitude. I ask for your forgiveness. Please give me the strength that I need to turn away from my pride and grow closer to you. You are my God and the King of my heart. Please give me the strength I need to turn away from making prideful and selfish decisions. Please search me and know me and make known to me any sin in my heart that I am not aware of. Thank you, God, for teaching me and growing me as you see me fit. You are so wise. Thank you for loving me and knowing me better than I know myself. Father, you hate pride, so deliver me from it. Never let me be convinced that my fortresses are my strength. You are my strength and my security. Let me work in humility and reliance upon you. Father, do not let me hinge the security of my heart upon houses and other nice things. This will only cause me to pervert justice. Lord, I do not want to oppress the poor because I have a competitive spirit. Give me a humble attitude that will take the time to love you alone, to love everyone around me. Restrain my pride in seasons of victory. These seasons didn't come from my strength. They came from your gracious hand. How foolish of me to take pride in something given to me by your grace. Even my natural talents came from you. I renounce and repent of all pride in my heart and in my mind because if I don't, oppression will come upon me. Father, I look to you in humility because I can't work this without your help. All of this I pray in the precious and mighty name of Jesus. Amen.